question about what is actually burning in here. Uh, and the answer is, of course, a flammable gas. What do you notice about the gas? This is where you start making observations. It's clear. It's clear. So it is colorless, clear. Any other observations? You can hear it. You can hear it, certainly. So you can tell when it's moving. So that helps for being able to tell when it's on or off. Not only can you look here, but you can listen for it. Anyone notice anything else yet? I smell. Can't. You, can you or can you not smell? I, 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 I can't, I can't smell, smell it. Okay. Right now, you probably cannot smell it yet. It does have an odor, though. Interestingly, though, this is propane. If you know anything about propane, propane is a colorless, odorless gas. So, if it's a colorless, odorless gas, why can we smell it? Could be that it's picking up the smell somewhere in the tube or in the piping on the way here, certainly. Say again? When it meets the fire. It, it could be the flame itself smelling, maybe. Another answer, and actually the correct answer, would be impurities. Impurities are intentionally added in case there is ever a gas leak. The reason you can smell gas leaks is because we add stinky compounds to it. That way, you can smell the gas leak, because otherwise you can't smell the gas leak. Uh, by the way, if you ever think you smell gas, they don't try to light a match to find out. <laughs> and it's even advisable to avoid using electrical equipment to find out, because it might spark. Um, try to investigate the source. But if you smell gas, don't try to light a match and go down and find it. Um, the reason it smells is because uh, a sulfur compound is added. And again, then you can smell the sulfur compound that's mixed in there with it. It's a small impurity, but it does make it so that it can be smelled. I can now. You'll smell it when you use it the first time, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so cool. Oh. Awesome. What do you notice? It goes straight up. It's, up. it's, it's, the it's air. going up, therefore it is lighter than air. Okay. So not only is it colorless, odorless, and tasteless, it's also lighter than air. Which means it's lighter than nitrogen, which averages so about 28 AM meters. Now, what happened to that one? Everyone see that one sink? Yeah. No. There was one that sunk. Anyone know why? Impurities. Say again? Impurities. Could be impurities. One good guess. Another thing, if you watch here. Oh, there's some on the bottom. There's still some soap solution there on the bottom. And occasionally, if the bubble is too tiny or there's too much soap solution there, it will um, it will be too heavy because the soap itself is heavier than air. Uh, because you have to remember that's not only the weight of the gas there, but also the weight of the um, bubble around it. Any questions so far? Everyone smell it yet? Yeah. yeah. I'll probably turn on the room vent here in just a moment. One question I always get asked, what happens if you just light it? Answer is flame flare. flare. You'll never do that. Only I get to uh, stay in Oh, yeah. You'll do the sparker. You won't light it with the sparker, but you, you, you can. Yeah, you, you'll light the Bunsen burner with the sparker. You won't light that with the sparker. You can do that, but, uh, it, uh, I'll burn myself. Too big. Flame through, as I said. You do have to be careful though if that ever happens because it is easier for it to get back to the source that way. You never put your mouth on stuff, but it is okay to blow. Don't ever inhale. That's bad. Um, <laughs> any questions so far? Okay, continuing to observe. I'm going to never inhale. 